Luckily, they're switching to a GSL format, right? So there's no chance to be out. Oh my god, we got as enclosed. It's not the same. Um, so yeah, it's, there, there's not a chance of being like single elimination against Danny Boy. I would be so nervous, man. Imagine getting knocked out by Danny Boy in single elimination. The humiliation that would follow Oof. would not be good for anyone. Well, anyone being me. <laughs> would not be good for me. I was surprised with how passive Jordan was playing. I spoke. I didn't see the games. I spoke with Jordan afterwards. Uh, asked him like how he's feeling, what went, what happened. He said that first of all he didn't have his best day naturally, but he also said that Ganji played very very well. So I think people might be sleeping a bit on Ganji and his performance. Also beating the max, right? So if you put things into perspective, losing to Ganji for Jordan was maybe not that bad as it may have appeared. He has great range. I'm gonna try to force the issue a bit here. I did horse color as well, so I kinda wanna... I kinda wanna try and like prolong fuel a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have done horse color though, because I want a stable. And I pull Vils off of wood to take the air. Yeah, my general approach here doesn't add up too much. But it's fine, we'll see. We might have a strong late push. With this. Let's do armor as well. Just do all the upgrades. Let's go forward. Need that stable ASAP. Come on. Come on. Said, come on, thank you. We hope that he doesn't scout it as well. Oh, he's coming forward too. That could be very good for us. Yeah, that, this could be could be really good actually. I'm gonna do forging and armor as well. And maybe even a second stable. This is also going to be a very good trade for me. Now I have armor as well. So my scout will total dominate. Second stable. We're going to definitely force a tower here though. That's for sure. If he doesn't do a tower here, he's just going to die. What? Yeah, if he doesn't identify that he needs a tower, he's he's just dead here. There's the tower. Get her. Not sure if the tower is enough even, because I can just circle around. We want to hit this farming area. Maybe a little bit of um bloodlines would come in handy as well. Don't think we need archers anymore. Do you share a strat with Slam and Jordan? Of course. 
Maybe Mr. ACSM is being a little bit too greedy here. There's a chance he's on the way to Castledge. But I think no matter what here, I'm gonna hit Castledge and I'm gonna be happy with my my situation. There's, there's no chance his Castledge will not. Like it won't have a power or much power. Now he's blowing in. You know what? I think that's our time to just go cast H ourselves. Is Jordan complete out? There's a second chance. He's not out. He can still qualify. Get him. Yeah. And again, this is fine because I don't see stables. The only thing he has is crossbow pikemen right now. Not even crossbow, probably. Like, what is he uh, realistically going to do to punish me here? I think there's not too much he can do. <laughs> yeah, Prague, I'll probably do the uh, Undead campaign in like... I'll probably do two, two to three hours of AO2 first. Uh, that's probably not a good fight. Your favorite save viper? I don't know. I don't. I don't really have a favorite save. No. I like a lot of different saves. A lot of different saves are fun to play. Nothing really stands out too much for me. I seem like, oh, this is clearly my my favorite save. Got them Polish villagers and they're healing. CTC. Oh. That's fine. I did lose my scouts a bit sloppily, but so we can do a one TC there as well. I expect him to play maybe Pikmin even. I like longbows. I do, but like I also like many other things. That should be his first extra town center. He also did he's adding more ranges, interesting. And the pike cab archers. It kind of does make sense to go couches, used to mobility. But I think he has taken too much damage, but I mean, it's it's. I think it's a right play. Just play like that. It's a right decision to make a move like this. Think about what kind of options does he have to come back in this game. Couches is probably one of them. Oh, we don't need plus two armor. Oh, 
kind of want to get, get correlations. I've been running here. Oh, I don't know about King True. Relations castles. It's my long term plan. as well now. Eight of villagers. We didn't think about him. Why did you release the monk? This is him, I'm two items. I don't think he's committing on couches anymore. I think he's tech switching. some of these guys out because we don't really need that much if we're gonna float a lot of wood down the road simply from the fact that we have a tc on wood in the main base you see them is so good in being annoying with just a few units Oh, I have five TCs. I thought I had four. Not bad. I'm not allowed to drop off your stone. Does Obuk beat Teutonic Knights? Chat, this is your moment to shine. Educate me. Yikes, hope he doesn't see this. No? Ah, looseness. Oh, he did sneak by. I have so many bills already, I don't need to worry about losing a few. He's switching into night. Yeah, plus, oh, he's going for cheap knights. True, true, true. Ah, yeah, it's not Obuk, it's the cheap knight spam of Vesla. Of Vesla? I should have known that. This doesn't seem like a natural thing to do against Teutons, but uh, we'll, we'll roll with it. Yeah. 
It is, again, one of the potential comeback options, I suppose. Let's go, Teutonic Knights. I believe in you. Good thing is, since I made the skirms, I already have. Uh, what's it called? You already have ballistics, spot canero, all the good stuff needed to defend against raiding. But I like what he's doing. Like it, he's doing things that he might have to try in order to come back into the game. So I think I think it's correct what he's doing here. I don't think it's gonna work. But I think it's correct. Maybe I should have just gone Cavalier. Maybe Pikeman. Play it safe. Still think we're fine though. You can also garrison 25 ills inside the town center. Ew. Oh, I am good, uh, Mahi. How are you yourself? 68 idols, though. 69 now, actually. Nice. What I do like, though, is I'm getting the chance to kind of go... Uh, to Tonic Knights. Let's get correlations as well. Yeah, I would, if you're in this situation, I would still recommend you to go for... Uh, what's it called? Pikeman? Halberdier, maybe? But... Yeah. It is a safer play, for sure. Teutonic Knights! Let's go! That makes me happy, actually. I'm never able to go this unit, and it actually makes sense, like, without it being trolling. <laughs> Come on, tanky boys. Man, they will never die anymore. No, 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 no. I have correlations as well. We can save this. <laughs> you see the elite Teutonic Knight upgrade? You're out. There they ain't no point playing on anymore. I guess that would like Obuk Knight spam could actually kill uh, Teutonic Knights though, because you remove the armor with the Obuk. But then again, the Teutonic Knights have 21 attack. Maybe you still die too fast. How many stables does he have? 8, 12 stables. Damn. Hey, I don't know how many times I have to say that 19 attack? Well, it's it's 21 when you have full upgrade, right? 17 plus 4, 21. Um, I keep saying that Teutons is the best if people don't listen. People just don't listen. Noise. 